This video is called Black Bears Appeared Three Days Ago, and this is referring to in Kanaka Park, British Columbia, Canada. The bears came back three days ago. I checked four days ago. They were not there. You will also need to remember this photograph when watching my video. Look at that foot. Look at these paws and uh, remember what they look like. You're going to see a lot of paw prints. And this is not for the faint of heart, so do not watch this if your stomach turns easily. Uh, and this is by Gary J. Ordog, MD. That's uh, me. And there's a nice uh, bear sign with warnings about bears. Uh, the black bears are back in Canada. Kanaka. So, time to keep your distance once again because of the bears. So there's areas to stay out of. I checked four days ago and there were no bear signs. Three days ago there were plenty of bear signs. So they suddenly arrived in number and in force. Three piles of fresh bear scat uh, were seen on the first day and then three more piles the next day. Bear scat with grass and rodents are being produced and deposited in the uh, park as you can see here. Uh, in the grass. Uh, you don't see it normally. You have to look around for it, but it is there. And uh, here's a bear scat with uh, a lot of grass. It's one of the few things that they can eat right now is grass is growing, but not much else is. Uh, bear scat with uh, grains and hair. Uh, there are some grains left over uh, in the area, and the bears are apparently getting into that, obviously. Uh, these are dried corn grains mainly. For size estimate, here's a one by one foot scat with my shoe there, my size 13. Uh, here was the first scat of the year that I noticed this year, and there had been none for approximately five months before that. Uh, the next sign is uh, bare footprints. Here's the first tracks of the year at uh, the Kanaka Park, Kanaka Creek Park. And here they could follow them all along the bear trails. There were hundreds of bear footprints, paw prints, and here's a good one right here, a good set. So here's another one. I've uh, marked it up so you can see it easily, and then you can see it without the markup and try to identify the paw prints. But these are definitely large bear paw prints. And as there are no grizzlies in this area, these are black bear paw prints. But uh, some of them are fairly large. Uh, here, here's a large one, uh, close to a foot uh, in width, and uh, much larger than my foot. So here's another one, a little bit smaller, maybe a uh, uh, different bear, smaller bear. Here's another good one. Uh, without the markup, see if you can identify them. Here was this was a huge one. This was over a foot across, and there's a shadow on my head to show my head is rather large, but uh, the bare footprint is much larger than my head. And again, there's the uh, head shadow with the uh, markup of the bare footprint. And fortunately, it had rained and filled it with water so it made it much easier to see. Okay, here's some more markups on the bear trail in the protected fenced-in area uh, that goes along the creek and bear footprints everywhere. So there's a lot of bear activity going on and again it just started three days ago. As I was checking before that and the day before, there were no bear prints and no bear scat and no other bear signs, which we'll get to. Now here's along the uh, bear trail, just loaded with uh, bear prints, bear footprints. And here's a markup of uh, the trail. And uh, you can see how there's numerous bear prints here with their claw marks and their claws do stick out and so sometimes they do stick into the into the ground 
if it's soft and that's one of the ways you can tell it's a uh, bear and a black bear so here's uh, this is a trail going down to the stream where the salmon are so the bears are going up and down this pathway into the creek Kanaka Creek to find the fish obviously uh, here's a bear trail with uh, bear prints going down the steep uh, trail there and look at this is another bear sign this uh, rock boulder has been overturned to look underneath for insects grubs whatever uh, but that is another bear sign here's another bear sign that I found there that's brand new it's a flattened area where the bear's been rolling around that's probably uh, 15 feet long by 6 8 feet wide there's another bear sign a bear rust spot this is almost like a den it's a hollowed out area in the bush and it's been flattened out and the bear can uh, lay down and uh, maybe even slept there so conclusions the uh, black bear has returned in number and force uh, which proves to me I believe that the bears did hibernate and yes but where did they hibernate that was a question asked to me I don't know <laughs> I really don't know where they hibernated uh, I am glad they weren't killed or driven away like my friend boo boo there was last summer and yes I went to school here University of British Columbia and Kanaka Creek Park is in the province of British Columbia so this video is to help you stay safe thank you all for your kind support over the years and uh, yes I'm multi board certified this happens to be the forensic examiners and here's one of my textbooks management of gunshot wounds and please subscribe to my free channel on pressing on the character below yes <laughs> thank you and have a good life and uh, I just threw this in the end yes I work for the Park Service uh, in the 70s